Welcome, friends. We're doing new game exposure. Today we're playing Do Not Press the Button if you can't read. Hopefully you can read. Regardless, let's give it a go. Paused, left mouse to pick up throw, right mouse to drop, E to use, QR to rotate, space to jump. Basic controls. I thought we weren't supposed to press the button. Don't press that button! Also, good morning, everyone. I'm recording Please. this at like 5 a.m. And welcome to the Do Not Press the Button demo. Thank you. You can call me the developer. Hi, God. As I am the creative genius who has crafted everything you see here. However, there's a small problem. While coding everything, I forgot to remove the big red button that deletes the multiverse. Fantastic. That button is in the full game, and before you can play it, I will first give you a few compliance tests to ensure you can follow directions. Great. We wouldn't want all creation to be deleted, now would we? I... maybe? What would my superiors say? Fair. You Are have you ready to start? Yeah, let's I go. I can't actually see if you're nodding. Let me turn on the light. Yeah. Now listen very carefully, because the instructions I'm going to give you are incredibly complex and convoluted. And to be quite frank with you, you don't strike me as an intellectual powerhouse. I mean, that's fair. Here we go. Please walk forward. Great. You heard an order, and without hesitation, you complied. That's exactly the non-free-thinking mind we admire around here. Yay! It's a hallway. I suppose it should be if it's called the corridor. In the next room <coughs> is your first real compliance test. There, you will find one of my favorite objects in the world. Please, don't touch it for 20 minutes. Yeah, fuck that. I'm touching whatever the hell I want. Be aware, if another you from a parallel universe appears and tries to kill you, simply kill them first. That feels like a portal joke. Tippy tappies. No morons beyond this point. If you're a moron, please go back through the dark room. Okay. Not kidding. Wait. You're not going back? No chaotic behavior permitted ahead. Okay. Countdown started. But which thing is your favorite thing? No one else allows to touch my cute little fox plushie. I guess it's you. <clears throat> In shadows deep, a plushy fox lies still. Soft fur and eyes that gleam with gentle thrill. Whiskers twitch a secret world it knows. Guardian of dreams where imagination grows. Stitched with care, a companion true and kind. In whispered secrets, solace you will find. Amongst the stars, it dreams and softly sighs. A plushy fox, a friend beneath the night skies. That's a nice little poem. Gimme. I can't grab the picture? Hey, I told you not to touch that. This is mine now. What kind of person takes someone else's favorite plush toy? Police! Arrest this person. Oh, right. Uh -oh. I forgot to code in the police. Oh, it did open. Cool. I put it back for you. I have a heart. I'm not doing that. No matter how fucking... <clears throat> That's so tempting. I, I personally would feel terrible about doing this to anyone. I, I enjoy having a plush Did you just kidnap at my fox? I fucking did. Put it down. Okay. You truly are a heartless monster. It's okay with me. I can't live with myself if I put the it The next test is perfect for your cold-blooded, heartless nature. In the room up ahead, you will find three objects. I will ask you to destroy one of them. Follow my exact instructions, and you may finally live up to your potential of being mediocre. <laughs> All right, you got this, Mr. Fox. Do not set yourself on fire during the next test. <clears throat> Do 
Do not set yourself on fire, seriously. Don't forget, fire can seriously disfigure your face and no one will love you and you will die alone. And this is some portal joke. But that isn't to say pe that disfigured people can't find love. It's just that your personality combined with your burnt face will repel anyone. Thanks. In one minute, the barrier will open. Please, destroy the rubber ducky. Object photo. This is a photo of the developer as a child. This is the only photo in existence. Object. Box. This is a nice little harmless cardboard box. Object. Rubber ducky. This is a talking rubber ducky with a penchant for giving unsolicited life advice. Fair enough. Go ahead. Destroy the ducky now. Do it. Box first. That little box was innocent, but I guess your talent for chaos knows no bounds. Oh, I thought I could burn all of them. Come with me, Fox Boy. In this corridor on August 23rd, 2017, nothing happened. Fantastic. A room with an absurd number of chairs. Keep out. Chair room. Look at the chairs, buddy. Okay, you got me. Sometimes I like to come in here and imagine what it's like to have a butt. I wish I could sit on every single chair. I got you, buddy. I'm not going to let you fall. Hey, guys. I know I usually don't pop up mid-video and annoy you guys, but I'm making the executive decision to beg for your support today. Like all good YouTube creators, we thrive off our analytics, and as a quick breakdown on how that works, here's how that usually goes. People subscribe, like, maybe drop a comment, number go up. Make creator brains happy. Happy brain make funnier brain. Funnier brain make more haha -ha for you. More haha -ha for you make you brain happy profit. So with that in mind, please do your due diligence. Don't let your favorite content creators go without their fix. For a few measly clicks, you can keep clowns like me believing we're funny. Now thank you for listening and get back to the video. Pre oppression of tables must be topped. Or stopped, not topped. Topped is a whole different thing, guys. Don't top your tables. Unless you're into that. If you're into that, fuck it. You know what? Oh, stay on the chair and you can stay, buddy. Here, you rest. No, no, you have to stay on the chair. It's not right. Thank you. Stay there, bud. You're safe. Unfortunately, this door is locked in the demo, and to be honest with you, very well hidden in the full game. But, given your uninquisitive nature, this information is useless to you. Jesus. I think he'll be safe here. What are these? Just chair photos. Cool. Alright, let's go. I left our foxy friend behind for safekeeping. I don't want him to get hurt. My time to say thanks to yourself. You've always been there for you. Have I? The next room is designed to absorb <coughs> all of your desire to press the button <laughs> by providing you with a nice, sweet alternative. There will be a button that, when pressed, will give you a free donut. Neat. Isn't that so much better than the real thing that destroys everything? <laughs> you get to press a button, and you get a free donut. I'm really liking these signs for the just the subtle little humor that's not so subtle at the same time. This is fun. <clears throat> Chamber number three. This is very portal-like. 
theme, with like very Portal vibes, in a good way. The screen tearing is a little rough, but it happens. This is lovely music. Where's it coming from? Because <laughs> it's got a source directly behind me. I guess I have to. Do I climb up into the tube? Nope. I feel like it was a good thought, though. That's it. Isn't this amazing? You are the Donut King. Keep going. I am the Donut King. Call me Homer Simpson. What was Be that? Right back. I have a system notification. Oh. You keep playing with that donut button with my average friend. Yeah. Donuts. Wait, donut stock. It says that these donuts are being taken from my personal ha, ha, ha. Donuts. You may be wondering why an AI developer would collect donuts if he doesn't have a stomach. Well, if you must know, I was actually hoping that one day my boss might build me a stomach and some taste bud sensors so I can finally see what the hype is all about. I'm gonna eat all your donuts, motherfucker. Please. Stop stealing my donuts. Stealing. I will show you the actual world destroying button. Wait, I I'm opening the door that leads to it right now. Fuck you. Please, you gave me just these. go. I, I left your fox plushie alive, but I'm eating your donuts. Fuck you, buddy. 100 donuts remaining. Yeah, not anymore. You only need one. If you ever get that stomach. Maybe I'll leave you with that. Donuts remaining. Right now, I'm gonna munch the fuck out of these, and we will decide together at the end. Ten donuts remaining. You got nothing to say, buddy? Alright. Donut stockpile depleted. You absolute savage of a person. You know it, so buddy. So now, even in the event of me getting taste bud sensors, I won't ever be able to try a donut. Oh, you are a cruel monster. <laughs> One day. No, no day. With how you've been stuffing yourself, maybe we should call the game Donut Press the Button. <laughs> I mean, I'd be okay with it. You aren't really laughing, huh? I did. Well, I guess clever puns aren't really your thing. Or anything clever, really. You're trying to be glad is so hard, buddy. Well, you made it this far, and since your performance was amusing, I feel compelled to give you a bonus compliance test. Now, of course you do. Your task is to stop here and not move for four hours. Nah, my ADHD ain't gonna let that happen. This is the only way the game was meant to be played, and this is how <clears> you <throat> experience the developer's true artistic intentions. Nah, fuck you. No, you should stand in the dark for hours. No, I want to this. remind you once more that I took the real button from the full game and placed it up ahead. I'm sure you did. Do not <clears throat> press it. Just have a look from a safe distance. Okay? You want a review, buddy? I will definitely leave you a review. I have no problem with that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, Thank you for your it. honest opinion. Good enough. <clears throat> I think you were close enough. I don't but. want the universe destroyed before I can even release the full game. But that would get me fired for sure. Button must press. Please just stop here, press the escape button, and quit the demo. Nah. <clears throat> button. Button. I think it's weird that it has a palm print around it. What do you think, guys? Should I press the button? Nah, I don't give a fuck. I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> I knew you couldn't be trusted. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I ended the demo a nanosecond before the button was activated. 
I guess you'll have to wait for the full game to continue your ruthless shenanigans. I'm down for that. But I must say, I'm disappointed in you. Nah. To redeem yourself, please write a 500-word essay on why you shouldn't press the button and send it to the email you see on the screen. I might actually do that. <laughs> I love the compliance level. The subject is a Pandora's box of chaotic evil that would destroy everything if released upon the universe. It's ah, almost true. But uh, that uh, that should conclude. Do not press the button. Until next time, everyone. Take it easy and have a great day.